Hello and thank you for joining me on the last part of my video about Shepperton. Today we'll be visiting Littleton and Charlton Village. Both Littleton and Charlton Village are dominated by the Queen Mary Reservoir that was built in 1925. Our first stop is St Mary Magdalene Church. The church dates from 1135 and has thought to have been founded by the monks at Chertsey Abbey. Many parts have been added to the church over the centuries. The tower is Tudor but was extended in 1715. The inside of this beautiful church is full of history. Some of the pews are fine 16th century workmanship. The 15th century choir stalls are not original to the church. They were given by Sir Richard Burbridge of Littleton Park House in memory of his wife. There are many memorials to the Wood family. They were Lords of the Manor for many years. Opened in 1932, Shepperton Studios started life as the sound, film, producing and recording studios. The studios were built in the grounds of Littleton Park. Littleton Park was built in the 17th century by local nobleman Thomas Wood. The Wood family had long connections with Littleton. Local children were taught at the manor house, seen here in the grounds of the studios. This scene is of Littleton Recreation Ground, which at one time was part of Littleton Park. This is Manor Lodge, which at one time was the entrance to the manor house and also to the studios. As the amount of school children grew in Littleton, the old school opened in 1873. The building was in use as a mainstream school until 1976. In the 1970s, the film industry was in decline and the studio sold off the Western End back lot for housing development. This is Studios Road. Other road names have connections with the film industry. Asseldon Road was named after the village that was submerged under the Queen Mary Reservoir. In this film still, we see Peter Sellers trying unsuccessfully trying to get into Herbert Long's castle. The castle set has now gone. In its place is a children's play area. A mile to the east of Littleton is Charlton Village. We start at the River Ash Nature Reserve. Over the years it has been changed from a gravel pit into a great place to relax and walk. Before the M3 was built in the 1970s, it was possible to drive down the old Charlton Road to Charlton Village via Ford. The Ford passed just to the left of the footbridge. The road then continued down what is now Nutty Lane. It then went past the left of the farm buildings in the middle shot.
This is where the road joined the now Charlton Road. Over the last couple of years, the residents have had the pleasure of the building of the new Eco Park. They have obvious concerns regarding the environmental impact on the community. Moving on to the most beautiful building in the village is the thatched pub, the Harrow. It is thought that the building dates from the 16th century, but many believe it is much older. Before the reservoir was built, Charlton Village was just a farming community. Two farms have survived to this day. In the mid to late 50s, a housing development was built on the western side of the village, close to the reservoir. Later in the 60s, the Hetherington Road Estate was built, complete with local shops and the Charlton Village Hall. I hope you've enjoyed my three videos about Shepparton and thank you for watching.